gents. Welcome to colon now hyphen space hyphen news sick full stop. I am your host colon Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass and this is a new program a new show in which I'm going to take a look at the daily headlines and look at them from a grammatical perspective identifying the modification in the adverb verb adjective pronoun grammar as well as look at some different angles on how that grammar may or may not be construed. And today's show is taking news headlines from what the now space location is today, which is June 16th, 2022. I'm taking it from the BBC website, as you can see here. And so the first one is dog health. Colon, don't buy a bulldog until breed is reshaped, comma, vets plead. So that looks like an adjective pronoun scenario, and then the colon acts as a break in the continuance of the evidence. And then we have a adverb verb, adverb verb, adverb adjective, adjective pronoun in the past tense, and then adjective pronoun. So we're obviously talking about some dog health here which is always important to take care of your home companions, rule one, rule equal, other live creatures. Don't buy a bulldog. So buying a bulldog, basically canine trafficking until the breed. So a breed bulldog is part of a breed until the breed is reshaped. So reshaped is past tense. So you're not supposed to buy a bulldog until the breed has been shaped in the past. But then you put RE in front of shape and RE means no. So you're not supposed to buy a bulldog until you're not supposed to traffic in bulldogs until the breed has been not shaped in the past. And the vets are begging and praying and pleading that you do that whatever that is. Next headline. Why is climate doomism going viral? And who's fighting it? All right. So that to me looks like adverb, adjective, pronoun. And then doomism is not even in quotations. It's actually in apostrophes, which performs the same function and takes it off the page because there's two of them on either end of the D and the M. And so going viral is basically starting a completely new uh, word group. So then going viral would be adjective pronoun. And then we have an apostrophe with spaces on either side of it, which means it's a break in the continuance of the evidence. And the and is non-tangible contract and is not performing the function of a conjunction because it's not connecting anything because there's a break in the continuance of the evidence in front of it. Therefore, it is a pronoun. And then whose is an adverb. And then fighting it would be adjective pronoun. So what are they saying in this one? Why is climate going viral? So climate is going viral, I guess, like a virus. And who's fighting it? How would one fight uh, climate? I'd like to know. I really would like to know. I mean, I've heard stories about H-A-A-R-P, harp, you know, uh, the ionosphere and all, all that uh, malarkey. But I mean, how, how would you fight climate? I would suggest a well-rounded regimen of a boxing and wrestling base and then throw in some jujitsu, some Muay Thai kickboxing, perhaps, um, you know, things like that. Krav Maga is good. And maybe you might have a little bit of a chance of fighting climate. Although, you know, Mother Nature is uh, quite a formidable adversary. Warning. Food prices to rise quickly over summer. Warning food prices. So warning food prices are going to rise quickly over the summer. This is a prediction. This is prophecy. So warning food prices, adjective, adjective, pronoun two is an adverb in the future tense and then rise quickly over summer. 
Rise would be adjective, quickly would be pronoun, over would be adverb, modifying summer into a dangling participle verb. What are we looking at here? That's crazy. Now, if I were an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, author, working for the BBC, I would probably put a full colon after warning so that we can sort of differentiate what the hell we're talking about here. But as it is, as it stands, warning food prices is to be taken as a whole, and that's going to rise very fast over the summer. How they know this, I don't know. Maybe they have insider information. Next headline, responsible access plea for Scotland's forests. All right, so we have responsible access plea, adjective, adjective, pronoun. For is an adverb and in Scotland is an adjective coloring forests into a pronoun. So responsible access is pleading. It's begging. Begging for what? It's begging for Scotland's forests. So I guess responsible access plea may have a crush, maybe a little bit sweet on Scotland's forests. And I, I don't blame responsible access plea because Scotland's forests are beautiful. I've watched Outlander. Thank you, Michael, man. All right, next headline, climate change. Australia signs new carbon emissions target. Climate change, adjective pronoun. Australia signs, adjective pronoun, new is non-tangible contract adverb, modifying carbon into an adjective, which is coloring emissions into an adjective, which is coloring target into a pronoun. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about climate change. Again, climate very popular. Australia. Australia is signing a new carbon emissions target. So they had an old target of carbon emissions and now there's a new one and Australia is going to sign it. Have you ever met Australia in person? What are they like? What do they identify as? What's their pronoun? That's, that's the question here because I know the kids say there's like 80 some genders nowadays. So and I use the word kids, I apologize. I know I did a whole whole ass video on racism over there on Coral Blake Grotto. And um, yeah, kids is a derogatory term. Stop and correct. I apologize for that. Uh, the children, the young folks today um, say that there are over 80 genders, which is news to me. So I'd like to know has anyone ever met Australia in person? And if so, you know, get back to me on that one. All right, next headline. Plastic waste, Bristol wide refill cup scheme launched. So again, we have adjective pronoun, and then we have a whole bunch of adjective, 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 adjective pronoun in the past tense. So we're talking about plastic waste. So plastic is wasting something. And it has to do with a Bristol hyphen wide. I wonder what a Bristol hyphen wide is. I know what a Bristol is, but a Bristol hyphen wide, I don't know. Does anybody know where that is or what that is? So we have a refill cup, which is a no fill cup. It's a cup you can't fill up and it's a scheme. Oh, a no fill cup is scheming but it was launched so launched is past tense so this happened in the past and it's a scheme someone's scheming could be a conspiracy all right next headline brazil policia sorry that's not what it says brazil police Suspect told us where pair missing in Amazon are buried. Ooh, even by adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun standards, that is horrendous grammar. Shame on you, BBC. So we have Brazil police, adjective, pronoun. Suspect told us where. Hmm. Suspect told us is adjective, adjective, pronoun. And then where is an adverb modifying pair into an adjective, missing adjective. Oh, no, sorry. Missing is a pronoun. So where is an adverb? Pair is adjective. Missing is a pronoun. In is adverb. 
Amazon is adjective, R is adjective, buried is adjective in the past tense. So check it out. Pair is singular. And they're using R before buried, which denotes plurality in the subject of that particular word group, which pair is singular. If it said pairs told us where pairs missing in Amazon are buried, then it would be correct in a fiction sense, but it's not. So shame on you, BBC. I thought you get, uh, you know, Queen's English and all that. Thought it was supposed to be proper. So what are we talking about here? So the police are making this headline. Shame on you, Brazil police then. Maybe it's the Brazil police in the got lost in translation to the BBC. Suspect told us. Okay, so we don't have a name for the suspect, but they told the police where the pair, the pair of what? A pair of socks? Did they bury some socks? Or, uh, yeah, I'm not even going any further with that because I, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, that's sad if it's true. Next headline. Pembroke Shire phone mast can run off wind energy. Pembroke Shire phone mast can run off wind energy. Adjective. Pembroke Shire phone. Adjective. Mast. Adjective. Can. Adjective. Run. Pronoun. Off. Adverb. Wind. Adjective. Energy. Pronoun. So it looks like Pembroke foam mast can run off wind energy in the same way that I can run trespassers off of my yard with a 12 gauge. Good for you, Pembrokeshire foam mast. Keep, keep that wind energy away. We don't need that here. Next headline. First pictures of earthquake hitting Japan. Ooh. Jeez. God darn it. First pictures. Adjective pronoun of is an adverb modifying earthquake into an adjective. Hitting adjective Japan pronoun. Viewer caution. That's why this picture isn't coming up here because I don't want to offend anybody because seeing anybody get hit is disturbing to me. I think there's too much violence. And I don't want to see an earthquake hitting Japan. I mean, what is it doing? Is it doing some grounding and pounding or sprawling and brawling? I mean, what kind of hits are we talking about? We talk about hooks. We talk about crosses. Are they using a weapon? I don't know. Is the earthquake using a weapon? Is it, you know, I don't know. In any other case, it's, it's hitting Japan. And I feel very bad for Japan. And I hope, you know, Japan is famous for its martial arts. So hopefully they're using some of that karate to uh, defend against that earthquake there. Because it's no fun being hit. Royal Society of Chemistry report says racism pervasive. Pervasive is again in apostrophes, which takes it off the page. So we have adjective pronoun, adverb, adjective, 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 pronoun. So let's take into account the honor and the grace and we'll say that uh, pervasive is there. So the Royal Society of Chemistry report says, ready for this? This is the Royal Society of Chemistry report. Racism pervasive. All right. Whatever that means. <laughs> the Royal Society of Chemistry, I hope, uh, can speak better than the BBC did with that mix up with the verb and the other headline there. The neighborhood leading a green energy revolution. Ooh. Well. First of all, just looking at that, I see some racism here because we're talking about color. And any time you talk about color, it's racist. You're giving favoritism to one color over another color. The neighborhood leading. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. A green energy revolution. Adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun. So we have the neighborhood is leading. A neighborhood can lead. Have you ever met a neighborhood? What's your opinion of neighborhoods? And what's their pronoun? I'd like to know. Green energy 
no volution. RE means no, and then we have volution, so it's not turning. And, you know, what's so special about green energy? What makes it, what makes you want to put green energy in front of, say, for example, purple energy or blue energy or gray energy, brown energy? I mean, seriously, folks, what's color got to do with it, right? So, thank you very much for joining me for this inaugural episode of colon now hyphen space hyphen news sick period uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, i'm going to try and get some better headlines next time bbc's a little bit boring so we're going to try and liven it up next time and pick some juicy headlines for you thanks for watching catch you next time